Hi, how are we all doing everyone? Hope you're keeping well out there. Thought we'd have a quick look at this tonight. I was presented with this a while back. We're only getting around to it now. Um, and sadly this is the condition that it's in. And it is scrap condition. Um, and my god, I would love to get one of these in good condition. This is a Fisher. 500C. And this is a uh, FM tuner uh, amplifier. From the early 60s, I think 1960, uh, maybe 61. All valve or tube, American made, Fisher. Very high end, hi fi. These are still very well regarded today. Um, however, I do have the faceplate off it, but I have nothing else, and um, it's in very poor condition, unfortunately. I think someone was had started to restore this and kind of gave up or lost faith in it um so this is sort of the condition that i got it in it was heading for the bin so it was saved from the bin um my idea where it was um these are have a renowned output stage um stereo push pull so i was kind of half thinking that maybe one day i might make uh, uh take the output uh, transformers off it and uh, the bottles and uh make a standalone uh, amplifier out of it it's an idea anyway um, yeah someone went to the trouble to bought new bottles for it and all but um, yeah I didn't get any further where unfortunately I'm never looking to see the nice beefy mains transformer uh, one ten though, so not much use to me. Uh, that's the FM tuner there, golden synchro. Um, and there was more ECC eighty threes in this than you could shake a stick at. It was full of them. Uh, wasn't full of them when I got it though, uh, unfortunately. <coughs> There's one or two still sitting in or there somewhere. Um, yeah really nice bit of kit look these up on youtube there's a couple of these uh, in operational condition on youtube and they are just a beautiful hi-fi system absolutely no expense spared when they built these um it's had a bit of work done underneath as you can see um this is some modification where they Put in a solid state rectifier or some such and um, improved smoothing and um, there's also um, a modification done with the biasing of the output tubes here we can see a bit of carry on around there and as we know it was not finished so it didn't work out for one reason or another but what a piece of kit and there was some other stuff replaced in here over the as well. Uh, wouldn't have had these Russian caps in her when she was new. That's for sure. Yeah, so she's had a few bits and pieces replaced. But, um, I think if we uh, scrapped the output transformers and the output end of it and uh, built it on a nice standalone uh, chassis, we'd have a lovely uh, amplifier. It's, um, just something to have a look at anyway down the road I put this back into storage I was just moving some stuff out here and found it thought some of you would have liked to have seen it look at the screen and coming up here to the uh, volume control yeah it's proper isn't it uh, they just don't make stuff like that anymore yeah so bit of a shame she is the way she is but um, yeah I thought some of you might like to have seen that very short video on this but and say I'm just showing it and that's all. As I say, all solid state, even the stereo decoder, or solid state, should I say. Uh thermionic. No, there's no transistors in this at all, no silicone. It's all valve. And there was uh four six eight ten twelve fourteen 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20 valves in this thing. Unbelievable. One complicated bit of kit. So there you are. 
a quick look at a fisher at the remains of a fisher 500 say i thought you might like to see it and uh, we'll catch you in the next one take care oh and do give me your thoughts on what you think i should do with it i won't be restoring it so don't bother suggesting that but um, do you think it's a worthwhile project to uh, scrap the uh scrap it and make it a uh, standalone amplifier out of it i think it is anyway good luck